now to some cruise ship passengers ending up frustrated and angry after a great trip at sea. Certainly not fun to find your cars broken into and vandalized after coming back from vacation. But that's just what happened to some people who parked at the Cedar Grove parking lot on Monticello Avenue. It's across downtown from the Half Moon Terminal, but it's the place passengers are told to park. 10 on your side, Andy Fox is in Norfolk with more on their frustrations, Andy. Tom and Lena, it's not only about the vandalism that went down in this parking lot. The victims say it's the fact that no one from the city of Norfolk has contacted them. Hey! 10 on your side went looking for answers from Allied Universal Security Services. I'd like to know about the crash in this parking lot. Sir, I cannot report that. You would have to speak to my manager. I, I don't have any information on that. We wanted to find the top guy, Jose Vasquez, who is the account manager for Allied and oversees the Norfolk contract. We found him over this small hill, so we ran to get answers. I want to know what Allied's going to do about this. We wanted to ask him about this Allied security vehicle crashed in the front after after a security guard apparently slammed it into at least five cars, including Melissa Davis's Mazda here on the right. When we came back to the parking lot, there were several cars that were badly damaged. Davis sent us other pictures of the damaged cars, but what's really upsetting her is she has not heard from Allied or the city of Norfolk. The fact that there wasn't a representative from the city of Norfolk who runs that parking lot on site leaves me with a bitter taste in my mouth and I'm reluctant to return to the city or to that cruise port specifically. Windows were also broken in five cars. It was a long ride um, home. Catherine Smith had to drive home to the Richmond area with a bag over the window. Well, I'm going to tell you, that was my first time ever being um, there and I can't see myself returning. Um, how this was handled, um, you know, is disheartening. Mayor Kenny Alexander told us he knows those vandalized need to be made whole, which brings us back to Jose Vasquez, who called police on us. Mr. Vasquez, I'd like to ask you some questions about the vehicle that may have crashed into other cars of people who are on the cruise. They had no comment from Allied. It appears as though the crash may have happened because the Allied worker hit the accelerator instead of the brake. Also, look for those portable cameras to be put up here, possibly just like the ones on Granby Street. More security patrols by police and also by the sheriff's office. In Norfolk, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Not the way you want to find your car when you get back from a cruise. No.